If you think about Cyberpunk 2077, I am sure you are thinking about the Mantis Blades and today I'm going to show you with which build you are playing them right. Dear comrades, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today I have another best build video for you because you like those videos so much and I will give you more videos about it. So today we will take a closer look into my Mantis Blades video which is to be honest very similar to my best katana build or one of the best builds in the game which is focused on katana because as i said you can use this build with the mantis blades there is almost no differences between the katana and the mantis blades so if you want to play with blades you have two options do you want to hit with your strong attacks all the time or do you want to go with light attacks there will be a certain point in the game where you can switch and it doesn't almost matter what you are doing. So as you see me playing, I don't have to care about my strong attacks all the time, but you can do it. One negative point about the Mantis Blades, and that's why I like the Katana a bit more, is that your strong attack animation took a lot of time. If your Mantis Blades trigger the animation and it's like you're carrying your enemy in the air and slicing him, it took forever. And that's why I don't like it, because you can shot and even killed during this time and it takes so long but of course with these mantis blades look so cool and you should play them because you can get them very early but be aware save your 100k and don't buy the mantis blades they are wasted your 100k will be wasted because there are two ways how you can get them for free but i will show you the location later on in the video so comrade, wait for a second, I guess you're new to this channel. If you want to be a better gamer and if you want to improve your own game experience, subscribe to this channel. We are going to help you with our videos and you shouldn't miss them anymore. As I said in my blade build, you can combine this build to your playstyle because you have 20 points into your cool tech tree and 20 points into your reflexes tech tree and I will give you some additional tips what you can do and you have some points for free, depends on your playstyle. But you can or you should go with a sneaky stealthy approach to get the maximum out of your damage, attack speed, movement speed and especially the crit damage will be quite high. So let's start with the perks. So for your perks, focus on blades and a little bit into your cool tech tree because the Mantis blades gain a lot of benefits from your blade tech tree. For every attribute point into your reflex tech tree, you gain three more base damage with your Mantis blades and that's great. So let's start and I will be a bit quicker than in the last videos because we talked about blades very often. Check out my 20 minute blade video if you're interested in more or a little bit more detailed stuff, but this video will give you all information you need. So if you want to play with blades, you have two options. Very fast, quick attacks with a lot of attack speed or very, very heavy, strong attacks. But we will skill both because with the Mantis blades, your strong attacks are great and you have a lot of attack speed. First of all, strong attacks with blades deal 50% more damage. This is one of the main perks. You need that one, 50% damage for free. The only thing, and that's why I mentioned early on with your Mantis Blades, and that's why I like the Katana a little bit more, that the strong attacks with your Mantis Blades can trigger the animation, and the animation is a little bit annoying. It takes very long, and you can get damaged or even killed during this animation. So this is not always a great option to make uh, strong attacks with your Mantis Blades. You can go with a lot of light attacks because you're wielding your mantis blade so quickly as you can see in my videos or in this video so you should try those quick attacks but definitely go with strong attacks benefits next judge jury and executioner this is the way to go if you make your strong attacks and if you are entering a fight you are almost one shot one hit everything believe me guys i'm playing on very hard and i've never struggled with any blade build i played let's continue increase damage with blades by three percent for every one percent of the enemy's health is missing perfect against boss fights but i will show you a clip i guess a boss fight is almost down in one or two seconds then your death bolt is one of your survivability perks while wielding a blade defeating an enemy restores 20 percent health and increases movement speed by 30 percent movement speed is very important but i will show you that later on continue with dodging increases damage with blades by 50 percent dodging you can do it by double tapping any of your movement keys and you get 50% extra damage. Armor increased by 30% while moving. You are moving so fast, it's nice to have. Go for it if you have points left and perk points shouldn't be the problem. You can go for extra 30% while moving and you are moving all the time with Mantis Blades. Increase attack speed with blades by 30%, definitely one of the main perks in the skill tree. 30% more attack speed is huge. And Blessed Blade increases crit chance with blade by 20%. Of course, of course, go for it. The next thing is the cool perk. I'm sorry that's a little bit messy. As I said, I can't respec, I don't know why. I bought the Tabulary Raza. I 
restart it several times, but I will go for the most important perks in your cold blood tech tree. First of all, you need cold blood and cold blood increases your movement speed by 2% for every stack of cold blood. You can get five stacks with coldest blood and with unbreakable furthermore, and that's why it's so important. You increase your attack speed by 150%. An additional 150% and that's amazing. And while Cold Blood is active, increases damage with melee weapons by 10%. Landing a crit hit has a chance of 25% applying a stack of Cold Blood. With Blood Spell you have another survivability skill. When your health reaches 45%, a max stack of Cold Blood is automatically activated. Combine that with stacks of Cold Blood are removed one by one, not all at once. It's great to have the maximum out of your Cold Blood stacks. Then you can increase your resistance a little bit if you want to or if you need it. And you can decrease your damage by 5% a little bit. But it's important that you combine your playstyle or your points with the stealth tr skill tree because you get much more crit, 50% while sneaking, and that's why I always do like this sneaky crouch attack with my Mantis Blades and you get a lot of benefits out of this one. Increase your movement speed by while sneaking by 20%. Upon entering combat, crit chance increased by 50%. Very important. Detection time goes 40% more detection time. You can level your stealth much better and you are much faster. Hasty retreat temporarily boosts movement speed by 50% for 5 seconds, seconds when entering combat. And that's what I mean with my stealth approach. I am sliding, gliding, crouching into the combat, get my movement speed and then start wielding your blade and you get so much benefits. The ninjutsu, one of the most important perks is crouch attacks from stealth with melee weapons deal 100% more damage and guarantee a crit hit. Incredible strong, especially if you're playing with katana. That's why you should watch my katana build, which is, in my opinion, one of the best ones in the game. It's basic, it's solid, and you're fast. Cheat death, also one of your survivability skills. When your health drops below 50%, reduce all incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Assassin, 15% more damage to human enemies. Almost every enemy in Cyberpunk is a human. And last but not least, in my opinion, you should spend some points into your body abilities. Go with a pack mule. It's a basic skill for almost every build. You get extra carry capacity by 60, which is very important is your steel and chrome. Increase melee damage by 20%. And in Annihilation, you have great, great perks. When entering combat, your movement speed increases by 20% and the speed demon. You, you deal more damage the faster you are. And always remember how much movement speed bonus you got and how fast you are. I do not speed up my gameplay. This is on normal speed and you can see how fast I am and how much damage I'm dealing. So that's basically it for the skills. If you have any questions, feel free to ask every time. You saw in my last build, and in my opinion, it's one of the strongest combination to play with the slow time nervous system. That means you have the synaptic accelerator and the Kerensikov. It slows time by 50% when you are detected by enemies, which is almost all the time. If you're not completely slow and completely hidden. And even if you are in range or if you can get spotted, this will trigger the synaptic accelerator. And the Karenzikov, it slows time by 90% in the legendary version when blocking, aiming or attacking during a slide or a dodge. It's incredibly strong. I removed those both things. It doesn't matter if they are common, uncommon or legendary because to making videos, it looks a little bit annoying if it's time so slow all the time. I showed it very often and you know what I mean. It's even part of this build, but I removed it to give you some good ideas how strong the Mantis Blades are. And for the legendary Mantis Blades, they are incredibly strong. I will show you two ways how to get them for free. You don't have to pay 100k. And you can see I have three versions with which are basically the same installed and two over here. You get one by a gig behind the Arasaka Tower. I will show you a very fast and very quick video about it where you can get them. And the other one was a random crime activity. I will show you this video also. And it was a reward by beating this open world activity. I, I don't know if it's random. I guess so. Maybe not. Maybe yes. But I will show you both opportunities. Also, which is very important in my opinion, is instantly restore 6% health after defeating an enemy. Heal on kill. Go for that one. And visual cortex support increases your crit damage by 16% and this is just the uncommon version. Then the limbic system increases your crit chance by 25%. It's great. Go for crit damage and crit 
chance. Your Bio Monitor restores instantly 50% health when your health drops below 15%. You get 200 additional armor, which is nice to have because the slot is basically for free. And because you are running around a lot, armor and resistance is not that bad. So for the operating system, the Sun Devistan is my way to go because you can additionally slowing time and increases any, any damage dealt by 15% while active, increases crit chance, enemies take 70% more time to notice you, defeating an enemy restores 5% health and while Sun Devistan is active, increases crit damage by 15%. You can also play with the Berserker operating system if you want to. I guess I have it over here. Yes, I got it over here that you can make a quick look. You should use them if you're really struggling during one time in the game but i never had the feeling that i have to use this all the time because you are strong with a good blade build the micro rotors increases attack speed by 50 percent which is huge especially for a blade build the dense marrow is maybe a little bit underrated increases stamina costs of melee attacks by 10 percent but increases base damage of melee weapons by seven percent then of course your mantis blades and if you go into your mantis blades you have some modifications for it. You can go with a thermal damage mod but the very important thing is the hemming age rotor which increases mantis blades attack speed by 45% and you can get this thing by finishing one of those open world quests. I will do a little bit of research and I will link you that into the description where you can get this but eddy shouldn't be a problem at a certain point in the game and I think that costs 20, 30k you should get it because this is huge and maybe you do not have to have the legendary version. So a quick summary about the Mantis Blades. You can get them very early. You can get a free legendary version, which is quite nice. You can add a lot of mods into the Mantis Blades, but be aware that the strong attack animation with the Mantis Blades can kill you and it takes a little bit longer compared with some other animations. Furthermore, you can adapt this build to your playstyle. Do you want to play more out of the shadows? Go for it. If you want to rush into your enemies, go for it. This build will help you to explore the whole world in a very cool and a very fast way. So what's your opinion about the Mantis Blades? Leave a comment into the comment section below. And if you like this video, do not forget to show the world we Germans can admit at least something. And if it's your like, I would much appreciate it if you like this video. See ya guys.